Today, the language of ancient Greece is widely considered to be dead. It remains as a language which is immensely rewarding to study and to read, but only in rare or religious cases is it really spoken or alive. That's not to say there aren't people who do and can speak it and speak it well, and there do exist communities who speak dialects very close to it, but it isn't really much of a language to just have a chat in. Obviously though, this wasn't always the case. So how do we go about reviving the colloquial element of this ancient language? We have the epics and the tragedies, we have poetry and philosophy, history, and even early novels. But from all of this, even for a classicist, it can be hard to find simple, spoken, ancient Greek. How would ancient citizens have greeted each other? How would they have conversed, gone shopping, or discussed their nights out? The reality is that the works the ancients have left us exist because they were the best, the pinnacle of the formal language and culture of their age. But there are some snippets here and there, mainly in the comedies, that give us some insight into a more casual side to the ancient Greek language. For the purpose of keeping things simple, I'll be sticking to Attic or Athenian Greek, rather than open up the minefield that would include Mycenaean, Doric, Iolic, Ionic, Koine, or any other ancient Greek dialect. And if you want to skip the rest of my preamble and get straight to the Greek, I'll split this video into chapters, which you can access by clicking along the progress bar or from the description. The phrases will be in the format of English on the top, Greek below, and the transliterated or Latin alphabet version below that. I'll also add a document containing all the phrases I've created with the original Greek, transliterations, English translations, and any accompanying notes in the description too in case anyone wants to study them or point out any mistakes. But for those of you who don't mind a bit of preamble, a few quick words beforehand. I'm going to attempt, and emphasis on attempt here, to provide some phrases that ancient Greek citizens, not just the great authors we read, would have used. These may not be 100% accurate, and I'm not much of an expert, but hopefully, with a little help from my Greek lessons, and a lot of help from Aristophanes, we can have a look at some of the phrases one might have heard on the streets of ancient Athens. And a note on the pronunciation. I am of course British, so it's unlikely to be great. We don't know exactly how Greek was spoken back then, but we do have a pretty good idea. I've tried to ensure all phrases in the video will be spelled and sounded out as Attic as possible. However, even with this knowledge I'm going to be far from perfect, especially with my accents and pitch control. But anyway, let's dive in. Beginning with basic greetings, probably the most important colloquial word in ancient Greek was kaire. This was used for a number of instances, but predominantly as a greeting. Kaire to one person or kairete to multiple people. If you wanted to strengthen the greeting to make it sound more positive or enthusiastic, you could say mala kaire to be translated as, say, really pleased to see you. It was also used to say goodbye, similar to the words salut in French or ciao in Italian. Farewell, or a more formal goodbye, was erosso or eroste. Now I'll just list off a few more conversational phrases. My name is... Onoma moi. Or just... A me, I am. What's your name? Onamasoiti Estin. Good morning. Eo Skale. Good day. E Merakale. Good afternoon was an interesting one. The Greeks typically split afternoon into early and late, so good early afternoon. Teile proie kale. Good late afternoon. Teile opsia kale. Good evening. Hespera kale. Good night. Nux kale. Welcome was Aspadzdomo. How are you? Who's the case? 
I'm well, thank you. Kalos, Karen Soyeko. No, I'm not well. Oh, Kakos. What's the matter? Tipas case. And from these basic greetings, you should be able to open up a dialogue in ancient Greek. But maybe even before that, it might be useful to engage with any possible language barriers. Athens was a hive of international and multicultural activity even back in the 5th century BCE, and not everyone may have been confident with the local language. So if someone didn't speak much Greek, they may have had to learn the phrase, Sorry, I don't speak Greek. Senor meneke uchelenitsto. Or uchelenitsilego. Or even more specifically, I don't speak Attic Greek. But if they'd done their homework, then they could proudly say, Of course I speak Greek. Ego Helenitsto deta. A big part of ancient life, much like modern life, was shopping, and fortunately for us, Aristophanes wrote several comical scripts involving characters bartering their goods and services. So here are a few useful phrases for the prospective ancient Athenian shopper or salesperson. Where can I find a tunic? Maybe from the stalls if you go towards the Parthenon. Thanks, I'll walk there now. So now you get to the shop, and you might need to know some of the following phrases. Would you like to buy this? Yes, please. Nay, a should okay. Or a polite refusal. No, thank you. A by no. I want to buy this. I got two donones on my. How much is it? A be poshoy. That costs five drachmas. To epithymion pen tetrachmosistin. But that's too expensive. I like einos polutelestatos. Sorry, I can't help you. Senume neche, udunomaise of Helene. And again, much like us, the ancients would have enjoyed their downtime by going out, travelling, having drinks, and many other activities. Here are some phrases they may have used to talk about them. What are you up to today? I was just walking around the market. I won the discus competition. Ten do dis quagona and ikesa. We should celebrate with something later this evening. He meis husteran in te esperai a tini comasumen. What shall we do? Tis praxuimen. Let's watch a play. I've heard Sophocles will be staged. Titrama theaston. Would you like some wine? Let's get drunk. Thanks, but just water, please. I have to ride my horse home. I had a great time. 
Ale Teus se ma utoni saamen. I thought the play was terrible. En omi sa hos ten draman ka kistenen. And now I have a wicked hangover. Nun de panka kon krapale ko. And the list could go on forever, but we only have so much time and patience for one video. But for a final bonus list, here are a few insults from ancient Greece. Bales kurakas. This could mean go to hell or even worse, but literally means go to the crows. Kopropagos. A shit eater. Suhus, eh, you pig or you dog. Di salads dawn, a worthless person. Dis blacks, an idiot. Hoy no bares, kuno somate con. A dog faced drunk. And I'd rather not give the definitions of these last few, so I'll just let you Google them on your own. Metrocoites. Taedoia. Binain. Like Adstain. So, finishing up on a serious note, I think it's incredible that we can still read the greats like Plato and Sophocles, but it's been a very fun exercise to flex my creative Greek and try to imagine what ordinary people might have said and done in the ancient world. I hope this list has provided some insight into life in ancient Athens, and I look forward to exploring similar phrases in Latin in the future. And of course, please point out any of the inevitable mistakes that I've made.